So this video is going to show you how to implement virtual buttons in uh, with the Vuforia SDK in Unity 3D. It's something um, I was trying to figure out how to do and there really weren't many resources available online so I made this for you guys. Hope you like it. Okay, first thing we need to do is uh, start a new Unity project. So go open up Unity, allow, start a new project, call it um, virtual button. Okay, create a project. And then uh, a prerequisite for doing this video or do following along here is you need to have the uh, Vuforia SDK downloaded. So um, when you open your project, um, delete the main camera and then drag in uh, Vuforia, or the Vuforia package rather. For some reason that did not go. There we go. Okay, click import. Okay, so click the Vuforia folder, prefabs, and then you want to drag in AR camera into the scene here. Now we're going to need to go to uh, Vuforia developer portal and get some of our information. So let's go Vuforia.com, uh, go to dev portal. Now the first thing you need to do, um, if you didn't already, is uh, create a license key. So here I've already added one, so I'm going to click that. And copy and paste my license key. Go back to Unity, put that in here. Uh, let's change this to device tracking. Okay, and then, oh, we need to, um, you need to find your image. So use pretty much whatever image um, you can that'll take up a whole um, piece of printer paper. I am working my girlfriend's skate shop today, and the printer's broken. So I'm going to have to use a magazine for my image target. So I found a picture of the cover here. And we need to upload this to Vuforia and then download the image target database. So go back to your developer portal, hit target manager, um, hit image targets, and um, add whatever new image you're going to use. Like I said, I'm, I have to use this magazine because my printer's broken. But you could really print uh, any image and upload, well print out a copy of it first and then upload it here. But so I'm going to use this image target and for width just put like 5 is fine. It's just the width and scene unit so it doesn't really matter. So we got that picture uploaded, it's a good target, the rating is good. So let's download database for the Unity editor and let's call it, um, I'm going to call mine Thrasher database. And hopefully that'll go to my desktop, which it did. It's right here. So we got to drag that into Unity. So go to your, click on your assets folder, and then drag this in. Hit import. So now under AR camera, you can click uh, load image targets, activate. Go back to Euphoria prefabs. We want to drag the image target. Where is that? Right there. Drag the image target in onto the AR camera so it becomes a child. So now you've got your image target here. Database, image targets. Your threshold one will come up. Um, so that looks good there. Um, now, well, first let's uh, make a plane. And let's make it roughly the size of the image target here. So scale that down so it's there. Let's um, pull it up a little bit. No, actually leave it down for right now. Oh no, never mind. Pull it up because we're gonna add. A, let's add a texture to it. So we're gonna add our ground texture. Just Google image uh, ground texture and just find some whatever kind of texture you can. And uh, just to make it simple and easy, drag it onto there. Now let's test this out and make sure it works. So when you hit play and you hold your image up to your camera, uh, the grass should appear on there. Um, it is not. So let's figure out why. Oh. Oops. Make sure you, this is what happened, make sure you um, make the plane a child of the image target. That way when you test it out, you should be able to see the grass there. Yeah. So now I've got my magazine in front. 
and we got grass on it. So that's good. We're doing good so far. Okay, so let's add our virtual button. So go to Vuforia, Prefabs, and find your virtual button. Bring that into the scene. Um, we're going to have to turn, turn off the plane so you can see the virtual button. So go back to the virtual button. Um, let's make it, scale it up here. It should be like a transparent blue. Okay, looks pretty good. You have to move, try to move it to um, a feature on your image target that you're going to recognize. Um, I'm going to put it over these words here, that way, that way I know where it is. Okay, move it over a little bit. All right, that is probably good. So we can put our plane back. So we got our virtual button. Um, now we got to add a script to it here. Um, oh, you know what? First of all, make the image, make the virtual button a child of the image target. Make sure you do that. And then let's go to the image target and let's create a new script. Let me see. Okay, that was my, my practice there. Okay, um, add a new script. Let's call it, uh, yeah, let's call it VB script. That's good. New C sharp script, create an ad. Very good. Double click this. And, okay, um, we don't need an update function. Get rid of that. We do need to put here, um, what the hell is that thing called? Um, virtual, oh no. I virtual button event handler, I think. Oh, you know what? I know why I don't have autocomplete because we need to imp import the uh, Vuforia namespace. So make sure you do that. Save it. Now we should have autocomplete. I virtual button event handler. Beautiful. Okay, we got that. Um, so what we need to do is um, first create a reference to our virtual button game object. So let's go game object. And let's call it um, uh, virtual I don't know, BB button object. And then, well, you know what? Let's make it private and then let's, let's do. Let's do game object .find. What do we call that thing? Oh. You know what? Okay, yeah. Do game object defined ob action button. Save that. Go back here. Let's rename this. Rename it action button. And then in the name over here, make that also action button. Set the sensitivity to medium for now. Save the scene. Go back into the script, and then we need to um, register the event handler with the um, virtual button object. So now we have our virtual button object. Let's go virtual button object dot get component. I believe it's what's it called? I think it's virtual button. I don't know where it is. I think it's virtual button event handler. Let's see, virtual button. Oh, you know what? No. Virtual button behavior. Where's my autocomplete at? What the hell? There we go. Register event handler. This. There we go. Okay, now we need to implement two um, two functions from this interface here. So I think we need to do on button pressed and I forget what the other one is. Um, oops. I think it'll tell us. New script interface. On button released. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting a text. 
Um, all right. Uh, anyway, so let's do the same thing here. Virtual button check behavior. Um, all right. So this should let us compile. All right. Now, if our button's pressed, let's just um, button down. We need a couple exclamation points for effect. All right. Uh, let's test and see if it works. Where's my co where's my uh, console at here? Okay, I'm getting button down to my console. Very good. Um, let's make something so that we can see this button because that's already annoying. Um, action button. Uh, let's go um, 3D object plane. Scale that down to the size of your button. And let's make a new material for that. Uh, let's go button mat. Drag that onto your plane. And expand this. So let's just change the color. I think I made it red in the demo, I believe. So let's make it red again. And let's add some text to it. So right click on the plane, um, 3D object. 3 text. It's probably going to be all messed up. So, let's rotate it and figure out what it's doing exactly. This text really annoys me. Alright, so now we can read it. We're gonna have to rotate it. Yeah, all this and rotate it until it looks okay. Um, I guess that is all right. So whatever. We got button text, I guess. So actually, let's do this. Let's grab the plane and the button. Um, unchild those and then turn this back on and let's move this up to get it on top of our plane on top of everything there and then reach out it to the action button all right so that's good now we can see our button let's just get a zombie and uh, make it walk when you press that button so let's go to the asset store and let's look for a free zombie animation Hopefully this will give me the zombie that I used. I don't see it. Oh, I think this is it. Let's see. Walk, run. Yeah. Okay. So find this particular zombie here. Click import. Put in your credentials. Hopefully they're correct. All right. Good. Import this. And we're almost done, believe it or not. The next part's easy, I think. All right, so we got our zombie somewhere. Okay, we got our zombie. Uh, go to model, find the one that just says zombie walk, and um, up here in the inspector, let's go to model. How was it? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think. Okay, you chat bitch one after six. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, wait, no, I'm not at work. Crap. All right, so um, animation type generic. Uh, hit legacy and hit apply. And let's drag this monster into our scene here. And let's find him up here. Let's rotate him by the x axis 180 degrees. And that's not what I wanted. Okay. This is what I wanted. Why? Right. Rotate him. Bring him into the middle. And let's scale him. Um, Let's go 1.5 everywhere. 
Is that big enough? Shit, wait. My mouse is like acting crazy right now. It's making it very difficult to do anything. Um, that's probably good, but let's just bring him to two. Yeah. And then grab your zombie, um, drag him as a child of the image target, um, rename it zombie. Oh, crap. Caps lock was on. Rename it lowercase zombie. And then uncheck play automatically. Um, all right. So let's go back to that um, VB script at CS. Let's um, private game object zombie. Let's find our zombie. Alright, uh, and then what do we want to do? Uh, on button pressed, we want to go uh, zombie dot get component animator, I believe. Is that what it's called? Animation. So we want to basically play that. Um, it's got the walk animation already there, so we want to just basically play the walk animation. So this is going to happen when on button pressed, when our virtual button is down. We're going to get component. Um, animation and I think you can just do dot play yeah you can do just dot play and that's gonna play that animation now let's copy and paste this into uh, on button released and then we want to stop the animation so pretty easy let's test it out see if it works Okay, we got a zombie. Let's hold our button down and he's walking. Yeah, let it go and he stops. Push a button down and he's hold on. Push a button down and he's walking. Look at that guy. Oh yeah. All right, that's it. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely um, hit that like button down there. Subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a good night or day or it's night here, but I don't know what time it is there. So. Goodbye.